Nick Hart from Backstreet Boys. Shout out to Boy Band Break. It's Christian Patrick here. Shout out to your podcast, Boy Band Break. Hey everybody, this is Howie D, and I'm listening to Boy Band Break. Hi, Ashley Parker and Angel here. Huge shout out to the Boy Band Break podcast. This is Brad from LFO, and you are listening to Boy Band Break. Hey, what's up? This is Jacob. It's Dan. What's up? It's Trevor. And it's Eric Michael, and it's time for Boy Band Break, baby. Let's go! <laughs> Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day and join us in some boy band conversation. As always, I'm Chinzia. I'm Sophia. And I'm Lydia, a.k.a. Mama Lou. Welcome back, guys. If you tuned in last week, we were talking about the ever-elusive 90s con. Thank you for showing the pass. Excellent. You're welcome. My my hoodie is buried under the board game. And Um, here you go. Gorgeous, yes. So this was 90s Con in Hartford, Connecticut, March 17th to 19th, 2023. So last week we talked about day one, and that was a really long episode. Did not expect to make an episode out of that, but welcome back and thanks for coming back for us. Yes. And I'm going to a little sip of this. Okay. Sophia, do you remember what day two looked like? Day two, I believe we started with Joey Fatone from NSYNC. Oh. Wait, 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 but tell us how you got there. Was it breakfast? <laughs> Sorry? Where were we? Breakfast? So we checked out of the hotel, and there was a shenanigan in which we had ordered Starbucks, and then I said the hotel is 100 East River Drive, and the app was showing 99, and I said, please change it, and they said you can't, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I took a shower and then I came out of the shower and everyone was missing. Do you want do you want Sophia to explain this one? Well yes. you okay, Sophia, please explain. So Diane asked me, can you please go down to the lobby and get the food? I said yes, not a problem. So I got the key card, went downstairs in the elevator. Um, this guy was nowhere to be found. I messaged Diane letting her know I don't see anyone. Um, he said he messaged her in the app saying, Yes, I'm here. I'm around the area. I'm here. And then she messaged again saying, it You're says that here. it's been dropped off. And they said, I've been here the whole time. I do not see any food or anything. I asked the receptionist at the lobby hotel there. Mm-hmm. She said, sometimes the food can go to a different hotel. Maybe they got the address wrong. Ah, so he sent a picture where it said 99. Mm-hmm. But didn't say it's true. But it looked like the building across the street. So I got out of the shower, very confused that nobody was there and somebody was knocking on the door, which was Josh. And then he's like, "Where?" I'm like, I literally just got out of the shower. I'm not wearing pants. So then I went out. I put on pants. Because we came back record. at this point. At this they point, when Josh converged at the same time, yes. and I was like, "Okay." So then I'm like, "Okay, obviously it's across the street because that's 99. I can see the big 99 on the thing." Went there, wandered the entire building. Nowhere to be seen. And whatever this picture that he took with the 99 up and down, that that doorway did not exist. So I have no idea where it was. So I'm like, okay, I'm giving this up. So I came back. Um, we ended up. She like, got her refund. It said that it would get her refund between two to three days. Oh, great. Yeah, so so at least she got it. Yes. Um, so anyway, so then we're like checking out and it's like now a little bit past checkout time and everyone's tired and stressed and the car is full of stuff. So I said, can you just not drive us to the con? And then they're like, well, how are we going to do this? I'm like, two of you stay here. Josh drives us the four minutes to the con and then comes back and picks you up and you guys leave. So mm-hmm. then whatever, that's what, whatever. So, and then I was trying to, I, I have this Zach Morris shampoo bottle from a very long time ago. Um, I don't know what is happening with your cat. Yeah, I'm going to go check on it. You just keep going. Is like, yeah, she's, 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 she's having a rough time there. I'm just going to share this. So this is the Save by the Bell shampoo, and I'm very stressed out. And then I was going to have uh, Zach Morris sign it. It's Zach Berry. Um, anyways, I ended up then leaving it in the car because I was so flustered, so we did not do that. So here is Sophia and I, day two, checking in yes. with these lovely little TVs over here. Um, and then here is 
the line for Joey Fatone, because we obviously did not get to him on Friday because it was super busy. So we're like, all right, we'll just all stand in this ridiculously long line uh, that took many hours. It took us two I hours. believe we got in the line around 11.34. Yeah. Yes. It took two hours to get to the front of the yeah. line. So we're like, well, you know what? It's fine. And Joey's worth it. He's hilarious. To be fair, it was a lot of fun because Chris was saying stuff and then Joey was like dancing and saying stuff. Yeah. So it, it passed the time. It quickly. passed the time very quickly. It was fun, yeah. so for sure. Sophia was wearing a Spice Girl shirt. I was wearing a Golden Girls dress because the, we, we ran into the Golden Gaze the day before. I was like, oh, I'm going to take a picture with them the next day with this Golden Girls dress. Yes. Uh, so then while we we're waiting in line, we have our main stage panel. So, uh, so we obviously missed the Friday ones. We didn't do any of that. So at this point, we're like, ah, oh, we have many hours. Let's try to plan what we're doing. <laughs> So Hocus Pocus was at 11, so we already missed that. All that we didn't really watch. Full House was at 1, so we're like, oh, maybe we'll go to this. Spoiler alert, we did not because we were still in Joey's line. Uh, then there because was we made it that far, might as well stay in the we're line. We're like, well, maybe we'll still make it to Full House. And then we're like, no, we did not. Like, I think if we went, we would have saw, like, the last five minutes or something. Yeah. So unfortunately, we missed that. I think I saw last year's. It was pretty good. No, I didn't mm. see last year's no uh so yes yeah, so this is two years in a row that i've missed the full house panel but i'm sure it was packed uh we also missed the cosplay contest but then we're like ah saved by the bell 90210 and charmed or at three four and five maybe we'll do that um yes did we which ones did we go to we went to charmed and saved by the bell and saved by the bell yes because we had photo ops that's right yes so we have our little week there's just joey dancing okay so this is what i was talking about the other day is that joey had a bunch of random leftover shirts from things so he had his fat ones hot dogs he had the after party in random sizes he had some hats he had hoodies so there you go you could just and then uh, my favorite line is add an autograph on the t-shirt or hoodie for 40 dollars." i was like but that's the price of the regular autograph so it's not right yeah. It's not a deal, but not at all. Anyways, Joey, genius, having lots of hustle and hard play, over here. Hustle, hustle and hard. hard. Yeah. And also, because then a lot of people were upset that Nick and AJ were right there. I got to say, there were a lot of people wearing Backstreet Boys t shirts. Yes. Time, even though there was no Backstreet Boys there. And they were all in the in sync lines, anyways. So I was just like, okay. So there it was go. very entertaining, the pictures uh, with the Backstreet fans, because yes. they were the in syncers were like, making faces yeah, and stuff. yeah it was fun yeah uh i don't know what this joey fatone thing is it looks like maybe he was a chef at some point yes and probably in one of those uh cooking shows food on the food network maybe joey fatone and friends 2022 so there you go and then he had like a million pictures uh that you could choose from including my big fat Greek wedding um yes. and other things like that so here is our first picture with joey fatone oh, okay so i went I went right, first. It's very windy and she's getting spooked. Oh, this is Kagami. This is, this is my fur child. Yes. I hope, so, I hope she Kagami is, is okay. She uh, she is, is no, running away. Okay, okay, that's okay. Sorry, guys. So <laughs> Joey's okay. like, hey, whatever. And then so we go in for this hug, but then it was just like a lot Can of I, arms. Sorry, yeah. sorry, the, sorry. So um, I had the magazine for Joey to sign as well because I also said, hey, um, there's lots of information in here. We did a podcast episode and we talked about him. Well, all of the boys in that and think that they were going to be in possibly Greece three. Yes. Oh yes. Yes. Which was, and hilarious. then he's like the writers couldn't come up with an idea for everyone. And then there was a writer's strike and there was like yeah. a bunch of stuff going mm. down. So he, he does recall that Greece three was on the table and it was yes. going to happen. Oh, but because it didn't go out at this point, he was offered or he knew someone who was a writer or some, somehow because of Greece three, that's what actually got him into my big fat Greek wedding. Oh. And then I was like, yay, I love that movie. I'm Greek. So that like, that was like basically what happened during the wedding. So I was like, this that's is so amazing. Funny. Yeah. So it, okay. was like, wow. it was really cool. Wow. Um, super nice guy. Hilarious. So then, so then like, I was right. like, Sorry, we did like this, but I didn't know what to do with my hands. Like, do I put it down? So this is, that's why it's awkward like this. Sorry. 
So I kind of, we both put our arms out and then we kind of hit each other so that I was like, okay, I'll go like this. So that I ended up, I don't know if you can tell, I am now holding on to Joey's tit. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm just going to hold your tit now. And he goes, ah, we're all friends here. It's all good. And I was just like, oh my God. Yeah. I don't know. I just didn't know what to do with my hands. Usually I'm good, but I don't know. Look how fun Joey is. So, so he's like, all right, let's do this. And then he's like, let's stick out our tongues. Oh, he's so cute. And yeah, so. Um, yeah, I didn't get the memo of the sticking out the tongue. So I just did my own thing. <laughs> I think his eyes are kind of wonky here, but we're like, yeah, there you go. We're there. So That's we're fun. like, okay, cool. So at this point, we're now fucking starving. Okay. Because we did not have our breakfast, obviously, because it was never delivered. Right, right. And whatever. So um, at this con, your options are chicken fingers. Mm. And pizza. There was pizza. We got that the first night. It was not that good. There's fries, and nachos, pretzels. things like that. So as we're waiting in line, Sophia had bought something and it had these, I forgot to flip this picture. And it was all like highlighted and stuff. And it's, uh, it's this thing. It's called Where's George? Uh-huh. So there's like it's some so type of pilot on project. It. So you go to this website, uh -huh. which is like where'sgeorge.com. And then you put in the serial number of your dollar bill, dollar bill that you have found uh -huh. and where you found it. Oh. So it's like a cool thing to like track where this money has been oh. throughout the time. Oh. So somebody made them specifically for 90s con because they put like a little 90s con oh. in the color and stuff okay. like that. Uh, this is real money. This is not fake money. So oh, then okay. like people use it and then you can log into the website. It wasn't working properly. I'm like, you, so. can, you can def desecrate money. Apparently, you might even spock the fives. And I'm supposed Canada, to. But yeah, okay. you do things. So okay, you know. That's that. America, so, yeah, so that is where'sgeorge.com. So uh, you just kind of do that and you check it. So pretty cool. Okay. So this was our feast on day two. We got breakfast. the chicken tenders. Okay. We got nachos and cheese. Huh. We got a chicken Caesar salad and we got waffle fries. Huh. We did our own little buffet. Our own little not? buffet there. We had our Pepsi and Gatorade. So we're good. Nachos were like, eh. Yeah, uh, you know what? The chicken tenders were pretty good. They do look, yeah, they are pretty good. Actually, good. Like, I hope like, so. We had it for every day. <laughs> we every day chicken tender day. Oh, Jesus. Like, there was really not a lot of option. And Sophia's like, "Oh, what are you getting the salad for?" She's like, oh, this chicken is cold. And then, like halfway through the salad, the salad is delicious. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. And it's creamy good. Caesar is actually very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. What happened? I was just like, okay, this actually tastes no! not bad. Yeah. No, no, it's because my husband's name's Ken, and then like it, uh, the joke is like, you had a dressing company, you never told me. Like it's, oh, it's a stupid, this guy. stupid joke. That's though, funny. Yes. Uh, uh, these were cold as fuck, though. Oh, like, that's whatever. unfortunate. Like, that sucks. All right. Uh, the lines were long. So then we got the. This was like this cookie um, place that had like big fancy cookies. Are they the ones that are stuffed? Each. Yes, <gasps> they were five dollars each. Yikes! Um, but they were yeah. So we were like, and they were oh, six, get? six for twenty five, right, or something like that. Yes. So then we're just like, oh, we'll just get. They were like, let's get sick. And they're like, wait, what if they're crap? So we decided just to get right. two, and uh, they were. Not I think we made a good crap. decision we because did. we would have wasted Cookie twenty five dollars. So oh, that geez. was. And this one was like. It was the 90s con one and it had fruity pebble rice crispy square inside. Okay. It was very fruity. I feel you like could definitely know. taste the fruit loops. Yes. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Fruit pebbles, yes. So they're oh, wow, pretty. Nice. It was very pretty. I mean, it was very cute, pretty. But, yeah. yeah. but I like so the monster the... one the most. Oh, okay. Yes. So then these are the golden gaze. That's adorable. And they don't have a Sophia, so they have a token Sophia shirt. But I so was they... there, so they did. Ah. So they're like, I'm Sophia. And Sophia had said the day before that her name was Sophia. They're just like, Sophia. That's they just adorable. kept like calling it. I was like, wow, I'm a celebrity now. No celebrity. That's yes. so cute. Oh, the, little, <laughs> the little purse, the little wig. I even got the glasses and everything. Oh yeah, they God. have glasses. Do they sanitize the wig? So ah. there's also like, they just cover Sophia. They're like, oh. So it was $5 for the, the picture with them. Okay. Or if you bought the t-shirt, it was free. And I got a t-shirt, which apparently I did not take a picture of. Oh, okay. Uh, so then we went to the Save by the Bell uh, panel. Ooh. And do we... Uh, so, do you remember anything entertaining from the Save by the Bell panel? Um, yeah, so she was... They were saying... That's when we found out, like, um, he obviously doesn't... Die, he dyed his hair for Save by the Bell. He's obviously not I mean, blonde. My hair was a different color every few days, guys. Like, it was obviously yeah. not blonde. Yeah. You can't make that blonde color. Like, he was just going on yeah. and on and on. And then he couldn't do the blonde for the driver's license. It doesn't work. I don't know. Something about like not the picture doesn't come out well with blonde hair. Um, and then uh, Mario Lopez was saying that he was going to, um, he signed like a new band, Manuno. Manudo. Oh, yes. yes. He's making a remake of Manudo. Oh, 
Oh. So it's like, you know, like that was the Puerto Rican band. Yeah. That whatever. Where that Ricky so, Martin was from. Yes. Mm. That Ricky Martin. So he that Howie was, tried out for as well. It did not get in. Yes. Um, but uh, what did you say about it? It's coming out. Is it a show that they're doing? Or is so it just he was band? on Good Morning America and he already introduced them. I believe he said the... The age range was from like fourteen to sixteen or yeah, something like really that. Young, yeah, that's young. Young. Yes, like, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And yeah, then he was talking really about how it. he's on like Access Hollywood. He has a show on there, and then that Manuno thing that he said, and then he also has like um, a radio show on XM Sirius called On Air with Mario Lopez. Mm. So that he was saying that, and then Elizabeth Berkeley was saying that. Um, she has merch coming out, or she has merch now because uh, it was a while ago. It has something um, to do with schools and and empowering, or yeah, she, I think she said that she had like a want. course that she was uh, talking about with students. With students, yes, yes. Um, I just want to point out if you have not been, gone to our you our YouTube channel, please subscribe to us. Uh, it's Boy Band Break. Uh, and we B-O-Y. actually B O I B A N D B R E A K. Ah, we actually did record the panels. So mm-hmm. I apologize because apparently during the Save by the Bell one, I coughed. Oh, whatever. And some general. Wow. So 1,300 views. So if you want to check that out, I'm not going to play it because obviously it's whatever. But uh, so it's not the greatest quality, guys. But you know. Oh, and then there. they did say like um, they were living their characters. Like they, it was a high school or um, elementary school and they were doing this they were in high school as their characters were in high school so yeah, it was so really like, like the same age as characters yeah mm-hmm. most part, so. because nowadays people don't play the same age like they're like 25 playing high schoolers yeah, that's yes true. That's true. uh they also asked who was the the person that was most like their character and they all said like dustin diamond was most like mm-hmm. their character oh. they did they did do like a nice little tribute thing for him so yeah. like they were talking yeah. about you guys don't him. know dustin diamond died in jail from a from I don't wound. think it was in jail. It was from a shank like... wound, wasn't it? Or he no, he died someone. because he had stage four cancer. Yeah. Oh, but he was in jail because he shanked someone. I, I think, think he was, he was in jail. But I, don't I don't know, know if he was in yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. But yeah, anyway, so if you want to see it, we didn't get the full amount because we had to run. So we got like most of the panel. When it got to the fan questions, we didn't get a chance to record. Yeah, that some part. people are mad about that in the comments. They're like, I want to know what the question and answer were from the fans. Well, we didn't get there. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry, we had, we had to go to like a photo we op. We had a photo op. So which was, which is which funny is. because we're like we know how to do a boy band pose because we always talk about doing a boy band pose and then when we got there we're like we don't know anything about doing we a boy like band did pose. Did not know it at all. Oh, so no. there you go. So yeah, so you have your QR code, then they give you these little tickets, then you wait in line, and then you just kind of like. Because I, I was like, there's five oh. of us. Like that's perfect boy band. I'm not right even there. sharing this, am I? Sorry, no. is this being shared? Okay, hold on. Let me just go skip ahead to the boy band picture then. And I will because it. we have five, so we're like, this is perfect boy band. We're like a boy band. We are like a boy band. That's so right. why not do the boy band pose? Yes, and then we ask them, Do you have it on your? I don't know what to do. Yes, it for. could be on mine, possibly. Hold on, I'm just doing it really quick. Or did we put it on the boy? Oh. Sorry. It's okay. So this is where the cookies. You were at the cookies. Yes, we were at the cookies. If you want to go to Instagram, I have it up there. If it's easier. Yeah, but on yours or on ours? Yeah, on mine. Yeah. Okay. So uno momento, por favor. Sorry. Uh. Okay. I so don't see it so far. What are we Thirty for? AF one. Uh, for Instagram, do you see it? It's uh, it's alone. It's in the Instagram. Go down a little bit more. It should Uh-oh. be a picture on its own. Oh, found it. Okay. okay. Is it sharing or no? Nope. Of course no, not. You have to, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. All right. Here is our That's boy band pose. Yeah. Ta-da! There you go. So we're like, it's hey, we're doing a boy band pose. We don't know how to do a boy band pose. Tell us how to do it. So they did whatever. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my face right here. 
Chris is like rocking out there. She right away was like, okay, all right, I know how to do this. And then he like, put it in. when we were like walking in, they were like, ah, the troublemakers are back. Rah, 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 rah. So then we like gave them all hugs. And then yes. obviously, and then Chris obviously gave me another hug as I was leaving. Cute. And then I just kind of waved to Joey because he was on the other side, but Jeff did it. Yeah. So I was, I, was like, so I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess this is like a pose. Sure. Uh, you're very similar to what Jeff Timmons is doing. Yeah. So then I was like, okay, that's really the cool that Jeff is actually doing one and i'm doing two there you mm -hmm. go that's right mm -hmm. that's right yeah. Three, and i'm, and I'm leaning up against chris because really that's all we need in this exactly that's all we need this. and then I, I told chris i didn't get a hug when we, i came in but i'm getting the hug when i came out when Aww. i'm going out and he's like yeah get that hug. i'm like well, thank you thank that's you very much sweet. so very <laughs> cute very yes. nice this is awesome chris is awesome and i feel yeah. so bad because he's like obviously people kept kind of like jostling his arm but he's like no i'm fine yeah. it's good so. The one at the table, there was a guy who was like tapping him, and I was like, no, oh, don't do that. Yeah, he was like tapping his arm, and we're like, okay, oh, there, bro. Yeah. yeah, so that was interesting. Chris is so nice about it, too. Like, no, I'm fine. I'm like, okay. He's like, I'm fine. It's good. So, Ooh, yes. You? Yeah, he's fine. He's Yeah, he's fine, you but still, you're like kind of cringing. You're like, oh. I know, right? Like, especially when you meet so many people and stuff. Also, great thing about boy banders is they love to hug. Yeah, boy banders will hug. I don't so. know if they like to hug, but it's part of their job. It's to part hug. of their job. I was saying to Sophia, I'm like, boy banders hug so many people in a day, like especially when they have like meeting. I feel like when they're like off for a while, or like to their arms being like tingly, and they're like, what happened? Why is no one hugging me? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> Maybe it's, it's, it's. I feel like they just it's part of the job. They're going to yeah. be hugging people. It is what it is. So. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then she was like, maybe they practice hugging. I'm like, I don't think so. I think they just like had enough of the hugging after a while. Yeah, probably. Maybe. Like, I just need a break. Stop hugging <laughs> me, man. Um, yeah. yeah, I gotta say, like, pretty much all the boy maiders we have met have been very big huggers, I guess, or they'll. That's good. That's yeah, good. So... No, I, I feel yeah, like it's part of the nice job. About it, like if you're polite, and sometimes you ask, and sometimes they just give it to you right away, like that. Not the awesome. Moffats, but okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. not the Moffats, yes. but like the other one. Calling you out specifically. Scott Moffat from podcast. 1996 yeah. or whatever we did this. Don't think I didn't remember. Pepperidge Farms remembers <laughs> Scott Moffat. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Anyways, but yeah, no, it's cute. But that was it's a actually... fun one. I re we really enjoyed the pose. Mm. Yes, it was fun. We had a good time. Did you know that that prisons are actually touch deserts where people don't hug, and it actually can mentally if impact people? Because hugs are good for bringing down your stress, and that they're good true. for resetting your nervous system. So hugs mm. are very important. Yes, very because important. when you're in prison, you're looking at four walls, four white walls, and, and nobody wants to hug you do. unless they're yeah. coming Those to shank, shank you. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's true. Like sometimes you just need a hug when you're having a bad day. It's true. One of my besties is very terrible at doing that, and he likes to withhold hugs. But you know, he's gotten better. Juice? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Yes, I hey, am. Papa? All right. He's gotten better though, and now it throws me off when he hugs me, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> you're suspicious. You want... Yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Suspicious. <laughs> you know what I have to say though? His boyfriend is a very good hugger because mm. I was having a nervous breakdown the one day while Josh was on his Peloton and Devin was in the room and he was like, do you need a hug? And I was like, yes, I do. And then he gave me a big hug. And I was Aww. like, okay, thank you, Devin. Devin Appreciate from heaven. You. That's awesome. Debbie Dev, shout out to you, even though you don't listen to the podcast. Yeah. All right. Has nothing to do with 90s con. So let's go back to our pictures so we can okay. remember where we were. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. So next we decided, you know what? Let's go with the Sabrina people again. And there was literally no line for Nate. So we're like, we're gonna go in his line. And I have time to out really quickly. I just wanna say, I love both of your outfits at this time. It is adorable. If you guys can't see, Sophia is wearing a Spice Girls t-shirt and Shindy is wearing a Golden Girls cheesecake dress. Yes, time in. very cute from Thank you. the Golden Gays. We're very excited by this dress. And they're like, oh my God, where'd you get it? And I said, Cake Worthy. And the one gay was like, yes, haven't you heard of Cake Worthy? It's so great. It's Canadian. And I was like, yes, it's uh, official. Yeah um and then i did a fun uh 90s hairstyle yes she had like the little hair in the back with the little like oh, bangs I remember that. Little, I used like, to very, cute. very cute um i would okay thank you for saying that about the dress but i would just like to point out our one not fun moment we'll we'll get there we'll this. go let's see at that positive. point yet or not no? yet not yet let's okay, see the sorry. positive okay so positive. lovely guy 
thankfully he shaved because there was a period of time where he had this weird beard going on and i was like whatever anyways lovely nice guy but yeah he did a lot of photos i was like yeah, wow you did like, like five six let's just keep taking all of these and then <laughs> i don't know why he's making this face at me yeah like what are you doing I'm oh like, my and sophia's like what the fuck is happening this picture is fantastic <laughs> if you aren't watching this on youtube actually our spotify also has uh, video yeah. too so hopefully you're watching yeah this, so but... there was anchor but anchor has since been bought out by spotify so spotify now... for podcasters so yeah. there you go so there anyways, you go. yeah so i don't know if i was like let's make a weird face and they're just like you're, you're the, the only weirdo. person who is oh. and then he comes back with an even weirder oh, face oh my so goodness. really Nay, oh, oh, crazy. Going on it. Here? I'm, like, I'm missing teeth very cute and we, just oh, like, wow. we all got tongues okay I this know. one i got the memo <laughs> that's oh, what i did it i just he just took a lot okay so this person is not a celebrity uh, this girl's name is Deanna. She's from Texas. And Great she's a big, cleavage, by the way. She's a big Chris fan. Oh, okay. So uh, when we were actually at that show in the middle of a forest, in the middle of nowhere. Zenia? No. Zenia, Ohio. Zenia, Ohio. Yes. So that's where I met her. So uh, it was hilarious. So there was maybe like 10 or 15 of us in the room. Okay. And we were kind of like in a horseshoe formation. And she was the first one, then her buddy, then me, and then a bunch of other people. So Chris comes into this room and sees her and was like, ah! gives her a big hug ignores the friend Ow. as he's hugging her he sees me and he's like what the fuck are you doing ah. here and then he came and gave me a big oh. hug and i was like he's like uh, is that Canada. how he's gone or no this ohio. was this was when we were in ohio oh so oh. that's where i met her for the first time oh, oh so okay, okay. and then and then he kind of ignored the other people he's like hey and then he's like oh shoot and then he would like oh. went to go like stir his thing oh. so it was very nice so like she's obviously a huge chris fan um, does a lot of stuff there. So she was actually volunteering at the con. Oh, nice. As well. So Sophia's like, oh, let's go to, was it Christine Sutherland? Yeah, that was the Buffy's mom. Go to her. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So we like go there. And I was like, hey, hey. When I felt so bad because nobody was there to see this Christine lady. Uh, so it was just like me and her chat. There was one person. Uh, so me and her are chatting. And then she was just like, oh. And then Sophia's like, oh, we're going to pay the money to like go do things. But I was like, oh, so cool. So it was nice to see her. We hung out with her a little bit after as well. yeah i had a good interaction with uh her as well i was like i love bo the body that was like one of my favorite episodes um it was so sad when obviously you died in the episode um because buffy saves the world but couldn't save her mother you because uh, it was yeah sophia know, was doing all the talking at uh, this one because yeah. i had no idea who this one uh, okay i just want to point out Apex's okay main so main. i just want to say that if you look at this picture you see this picture yeah and in my head immediately i was like oh it's the girl from adventures and babysitting that's exactly what i thought um it is not the girl from adventures and babysitting oh. because and i don't know why she looks like she's dressed as a judge here but yeah she doesn't like she's, she's, anyways she's, so, um, that's not her oh, oh that is an entirely different person because oh. when i saw the picture on the website i was like oh the adventures of babysitting chick yeah yeah no oops no so, yes yeah, buffy's mom from buffy the grand first lady oh. and I was like, i'm like why don't they have adventures of babysitting listed as one of her things then i i am how did you and i have the same thought because we both watch adventures uh, of babysitting and i don't know i watched the adventures of babysitting and buffy the vampire slayer and i knew that this was not okay okay but, you have a very yes. trained eye so. but like it was hilarious because me obviously obviously she has a resemblance to her because yeah. we yes yeah so anyways not was her. it isn't it Elib elizabeth shoe that's adventures of you babysitting? know what it might be actually now that you say it yeah yes. yeah uh, has the phone she's gonna adventures and babysitting elizabeth shoe uh, oh my god that's so funny my my opened up my um yes elizabeth shoe you're correct yes i opened up my imdb and it just i don't know if you can see this but it's that's it's like inconceivable unfortunately something went wrong oh like, dear that's hilarious mine that's actually funny. did this yeah. it was adventure babysitting 1985 87 yes. 71 on rotten tomatoes so there you go that's pretty good anyways this lady was very lovely sophia and her had a very good conversation about buffy i was just smiling and nodding <laughs> and like yes, of course yes <laughs> god, I know bless. This. god bless god bless and this one was also two pictures that's pretty good Oh. Yes. Uh, so this is now Jenna Lee Green. So she was on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I don't even remember this. She was like, she was like, was it bully. she was like the bully in the show. Yes. Okay. I think it was more like, was it the college years or when they were still in high school? Uh, still in high school. Because she wanted also Harvey. Yes. I uh, mean, I got to say, I just really like how the backdrops. So the backdrop looks like she's saying hi. That's adorable. Mm -hmm. That's, That's very super cute. cute. Um, so all of the celebrities had these like plain black that not plain colorful backdrop so they had a pink a dark blue and i want to say a light blue 
and then purple they had their little, as well. Like, purple things. Yes, very cute. So, anyways, and then they had, and then they did the ring light as well. Yes, as you can see in my glasses, the ring light is prevalent. I do like the idea of the ring light, though. It makes everybody look good. And then, then she took a selfie, so that's her thing. So yes, uh, so that's our thing. So this is uh, Charisma Carpenter. So again, she was Cordelia. Cordelia, Buffy. yeah. She was on Veronica Mars. She was so, on Supernatural, Chicago PD. Yes. She was. She was All very, the- very into taking the selfie. Okay. She was in charge of taking the selfie. She's like, "Are you going to wear your glasses?" I said, "Yes." Okay, you're going to need to move your head so the ring light does not bother. <laughs> then we took one picture. She's like, "Oh God, I look terrible." So she deleted the picture. And then oh, she approved this picture. Okay. This was she was a vet. she was a pro. She's a pro of these things. She's all about the looks, making sure she looks good. And Which every day she's wearing like a cat suit or something. And she was like, she's very, very good looking person and, you yes. know, doing her. Well, God bless. So, you know, of course she doesn't want any bad pictures of herself. Yeah, I guess that makes so sense. I was like, okay. all right. I would probably do the same Makes thing. sense. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this is actually one of our um, listeners, one of the people that I talked to on um, Twitter. This is Mrs. Bozzy. So I got a picture of her. Ooh, a listener. Um, it was nice to have a face to the picture. Because she's a cartoon character screen. on her. So I have no idea what she looks like. But she came because I had posted, hey, come say hi to us. And she saw us. And she's like, hey, Aww. we're Twitter friends. And I was like, OK, cool. So and then I was like, ah, this is what you look like. Because we were trying to find you. But I have no idea what you look like. That's so, fair. That's fair. Um, yes. And then uh, this is, I believe her name is Marissa. She's yes. from Mission in Sync. So oh. so they're like obviously big in sync fans. Wow. I get a lot of good information from Mrs. Bozzy and stuff like that. So there was a, and then we were talking about um, the Chris Kirkpatrick miss because I think she either posted it or I posted it. One of us had posted and then saw it and then she listened to our interview and then she actually contacted them and they are trying to get into the New York Fringe Festival. Oh, then. yeah. So she said, like, you know, keep her posted and stuff. So if she finds out anything, we'll let her know. But I think that would be really cool to see that in a French festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sure. that was a really good, uh, yeah. well, it sounded like a really good show. So, yeah. So. I like her shirt also. Yes, very lovely. So um, did you want to talk about the Mark Lucas? Oh, sure. Yeah, we can. Uh, we don't have to. I brought it up, but I know you want so to. So we're in, like, the, the Buffy so, area. Time out. Who's Mark Lucas? Okay, Sophia. Uh, in season four, uh, this is Buffy's boyfriend. So Angel has moved on to his own show, um, and now Buffy's in college. Okay. So Buffy, obviously, you're in college. You get a new boyfriend. All right, time in. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. okay. So you just seem like, and Sophia's like, we need to meet him. And I'm like, I have no idea who the fuck this guy is. I was like, oh, oh he's, he's, he's so nice. He's so nice. So we're like, his line was fairly short. So we're like, Gale. Okay. So I was like, so if you want to just take a picture with him, I'm fine. Because I literally have never seen this man's face in my entire life. She's like, no, we'll do it together. So we're up next. And then they had they had a group of people taking like a picture. I think point. it was a so family, they, right? It was like a family. They were trying to take a picture, whatever. Um, and I, as you saw previously, I was wearing the dress that had the golden girls. Yeah, so it's like a little empire waist. Little yeah. And as you all know, I am fat. And I carry my weight in my belly. Oh no! Outfit. I see where this. So is going. as we were about to go up, and he's posing with them, he looks over at me, no, and goes, "Hmm, looks like you had a lot to eat for lunch." What? But Sophia wasn't paying attention because she was doing, and I was like, "Uh, okay." And then he's like laughing. So what I think? So what I think? He obviously thought I was pregnant and was making a joke. Uh huh. But as a person who is not pregnant and uh-huh. just fat. Uh-huh. Did not seem like an appropriate joke. No. no so I said, you know what, Soph, you can take the picture. I'm definitely not going to take the picture. She's like, why? I'm like, because he literally just said this. Wow. And I was more like, I didn't say anything back because I was just so in shock. That is shocking. And yeah. there was nobody else. So he was clearly staring at me when he said it. I'm pretty sure he was not saying it to the family who was standing in wow. front of him. And I was just like, mm-hmm. And okay. literally every other person okay. who met him was like, oh, he's so great. He's so nice. And I was like, you know what? Yes, but. Wow. So I said, "F that! We're not taking I'm a not picture where my friend was disrespected." Yeah, so then I he left the line. Kudos to you, Sophia. But Thanks, like, so. you know, wow. like, I screw that. What I, goes in people's heads that they think that they can say? I, I honestly, I honestly feel that he thought I was pregnant. But even, even so, so no. if you don't, well, you shouldn't be making a pregnant person. Like man, you made a lot today. Like that, just like. 
just that's yeah. off limits, man. That's just, yeah. that is just that's you know, rude. not something you want to make a comment about, whatever. Trash, trash. So I was like, yeah. oh, I feel so cute in this little golden yeah, girl's dress. Yeah, like, I loved it. The golden gays were having a fabulous yeah, dress. Yeah, it's a nice dress. So I was like, okay, well, I'm sorry, buddy. Suck it, man. You don't anyways, deserve it. It that's, is what it is. So it's still that's sick. okay. I was like, ah. No worries. We're like, wow, well, we saved ourselves forty bucks. So that's yeah. right. Along. Yeah, I guess so. It's so just, it, note it, to celebrities: don't mock people if you want to get paid. Yeah, so. yeah. Obviously, if that's like, if that's just a no-brainer. Like, no wonder I don't know this guy. He's obviously a loser. So. Yeah. Anyways, and then everyone else was like, we had such a great experience. And, and I was like, okay. well, and we didn't. I don't make so. anyone who had a great experience. No. It's awesome. But I also, know. you know, wow. keep some comments to yourself. Because yeah. exactly. first I was like, did I spill shit on me? And I didn't see that I had spilled anything. So yeah, yeah. it was just like, just like, hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't deserve yeah, that. Yeah, I just yeah. Well, so. sorry. Anyways, moving along. On to more positive things. But then it was a positive because we went to other things. Yeah. So then we went to which one was this one? Charmed. Yes, Charmed. This is Charmed. Um, holy shit! I just have to say that I had a, no idea how many people like Charmed. Yep, like, very I popular series. Zero, one of my favorite shows. Zero idea. I was like, okay, cool. So I'm like, oh, we're here because I figured, you know what? I'm in a panel. I'm just going to record the panel anyways, nice right? Because but some people aren't there. They can't see it. Whatever. So I would just like to point out, and I haven't actually checked this since, but uh, yeah, okay. This charmed panel uh, in six days has twenty six thousand views. Jesus, and it's just and, like 140 comments, and oh. it's really good because this is the first time Paige and Prue are together. Like this is a big deal. Rose McGowan and Shannon wow. Doherty, like so that's I a guess, big deal. Can Whoa. you explain this? So yeah, did please, Rose McGowan? But people who don't understand, like me. Okay, but, so in Charmed, it was three sis. It's three sisters, and then Shannon Doherty. Her name was Prue Hallowell. She died in season three because there was conflict between Alyssa Milano and Shannon Doherty. Alyssa Milano played um, Phoebe Hallowell, which is another sister. So then, obviously, there, I guess there was an ultimatum. So Shannon Doherty, they k- killed her off the show, basically. Oh, wow. Okay. So they obviously wanted to continue the show, so they got Paige who is Rose McGowan to do the rest of the series, which was season four to season eight. And so like, I guess there was a rivalry between them. So having them on stage for the first time in a lot of, in a I long think time. so. And I don't know if they've, have That's they ever it. met before? I don't know. So um, apparently Shannon was saying that they had this, the, they met at a party, but this is the first time like the public sees them together at a panel thing, like an official thing. So they were rivals, but now they're friends? No, so this is a total, no, so they were never rivals. It was um, Alyssa Milano and Shannon Doherty. So Alyssa Milano wasn't invited to this con because oh. there's conflict with uh, Rose McGowan. Why? I have no idea. So do you remember the Me Too scandal? Yes. With Harvey Weinstein? Yes. Okay. So apparently. He assaulted Rose McGowan or like yes. sexual something I heard like something about raped that. Yes. about something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um and then I guess Alyssa Milano is friends with his wife. Uh, and Rose McGowan was like, How can you how can you stand by the wife and not say anything to right. like protect your fellow actors? Mm-hmm. I think it was like something like that. Okay. 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 And yeah, then yeah. she's like, I guess, conservative as well. So uh, she doesn't really like America. some of her yeah. politics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we can't. Yeah. So she was like not invited to that. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. So that's why Rose McGowan and Shannon Doherty and Holly Marie Combs were there because okay. the other one wasn't allowed, allowed to, to come. come. Yeah. I see. Okay. Also, Shannon Doherty um is stage four cancer, I believe. Oh yes. wow. So, so she. They asked her. She said she's feeling really great right now and all that stuff. So she's doing well. Um, there was a huge demand for her at this con because wow. obviously because she's sick, um, but also she doesn't really do cons and because oh. she was also part of Charmed and 90210, wow. they, want, they had a whole bunch of different like photo ops and stuff. So then they said that she was not going to be doing any selfies at her table. Okay. She was only going to do these photo like, ops. Is she like a uh, compromise, immunocompromised? Well, she wasn't wearing a mask, so I don't think so. Okay. So, so um, apparently she's okay, but she, she might be in remission has... now. I don't know. 
don't know. She said she got it back. Like, she has stage four cancer again, but I guess it's able oh. to be livable. I don't know. Because I, guess... I thought stage four was like the last Pretty stage. Bad. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah but she was saying like she has like 10 to 15 years of... left of life. So, I'm not too sure like what kind of stage four it is if you have that many oh. years left. I don't oh. know. Oh. I don't know. So oh. she was there. So they said that she wasn't going to do any selfies at her table. So they were okay. only going to do these photo ops. So a lot of people are like, oh, okay. So they bought all these photo ops. So to be fair, these the people, the fans wanted. They're like, we um, want the you in the nine twins. twins. Oh, no, we want the Walsh twins. We want this. We want that. We want this. So uh-huh. they like opened up a whole bunch of photo ops. So uh-huh. she was like mostly there. Um, but then. So like they did what people wanted and then they got mad because. There's no uh-huh. selfies at the table. So then, but so why I, did you ask for the other things if you want selfies at the defense, table? In their defense, obviously photo ops are more expensive than selfies. And they yeah. had a whole bunch of fees. Like, for example, Chris's photo op was like $60, but with all the fees, it was almost $80. Uh, and I was just yeah. like, you could get two selfies at the table for the same price. Right. Because, Yikes. Anyway, so. Um, Which so I understand, anyways. but I almost felt like it was greedy because you already got everything that you asked for. Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, anyway, so she was there. But she still but ended up doing selfies. There, yeah, she ended up doing selfies. Oh, wow. So then this annoyed other people. She's like, well, I didn't think I would get a selfie with her. So I bought a photo op. And you're just like, oh, my, oh, my God. God. People complain about everything. Like, oh, my God. I get it. And one of the, um, the volunteers at her station was like, she literally came out that day and decided that she was going to do selfies. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Anyways, it was people. I think because she saw people complaining, which is like so sad. Like you're complaining, like she gave you everything that you wanted. Wow! Yeah! Wow! wow. You know, but yeah, yeah. Good, kudos to her though for like ma- trying to make everyone happy. Yeah, doing the best that and she I can, like even with her health. You know, got yeah. to. And they only did the one. All of the members of nine hundred two one zero on the Sunday. There was two sessions of that. Of that, so like. Yes. So then, uh, yeah. Anyway, so okay. Moving along. But the photo ops um, are very quick, but it was it was fun. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah it's good. So we we did not get in that line because that line was crazy. So oh, yeah. we definitely did. But not. we so, but we turned around and we're like, oh, there she is. So there at least she is. we kind of like yeah, we're like she's there. Um, another thing at conventions, you're not allowed to take pictures of celebrity if you're not up there. Like they have big like volunteers will yell at you and stuff like that if you're not up there if you're not like if you're just walking by their booth i'm like i'm just gonna take a picture of you it's very frowned upon oh so So oh Oh, i did that to jonathan franks once whoopsie there was also somebody got um told don't take a picture of their banner but they weren't there and she was like but nobody's there yeah that's weird some volunteers are a little like crazy oh yeah we saw we saw some like power trip yes we yeah. saw some crazy ones there and yes. we're like okay <laughs> so then next up we decided we would go to uh, melissa joan hart so... yes because we didn't ha- get her yet ah, so we got, got the other her one. so <laughs> sophia's like oh i really love you and sabrina and i was like ah i used to watch you on clarissa explains it all yeah on a satellite dish in canada <laughs> and no one else knew what the hell i was talking about she's yeah. like oh you've been around for a while I'm like yes so there she's you like you're an original original i guess like, i am melissa joan hart I didn't realize she's like my height. I know she's like short. That's so then I was like, oh, she's like kind of oh, short. So I don't know why I was doing down. this. I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. That's Amazing. so cute. Yes, there you go. Uh, and then because there was barely any line, we're like, you know what, Ian Ziri, let's do him too. So we went. Sue there. Sanders, the best friend of Brandon Walsh. And I was Jason not a fan Christian. of him on the show. I thought he was annoying, but I was like, he was lovely in person. And then for some reason, so Sophia was like talking about um, how we're from Canada. And he's like, oh, did you guys like fly here? We're like, no, we took the Greyhound bus of death. And he's like, the what now? Yeah. So then we were explaining the Greyhound bus of death. And he's like, that sounds terrible. We're yes. like, yes, it yes, does. It yeah, and yeah. then we were like, we came just for you. Oh, <laughs> Sophia said, likes to just pretend. Oh, like, you're so it. nice, though. To be fair, to be fair, I came for a many people. Yeah. So I love this lady's outfit, by the way. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, is were they selling? Yes. Them? Um, they were selling some '90s inspired things. I don't know if they got this made themselves or. That is super cute. Yeah, yeah so. I'm not sure. And look, some people were like hardcore collectors, or maybe like so they. This is like a tin of things that she has, like all of the stuff in there. Huh? She got autographed. What? So, and I think some people I thought that was a garbage can. No, it actually has like, you know, Funko Pops and things like that. So I think a lot of uh, some people do this where they actually go around uh, and make money. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. to get it, like autographs. So they like more. charge them whatever the autograph is plus a fee and then like shipping for people who can't come to the convention. 
That's so they have an official one. It's called like East Coast Collectors or something like that that uh -huh. do this. But then some people actually do that. So you know what? If you lived in the town, why not, right? If you yeah, want to make some extra money. Point. And it was I'm great to talk with him and meet him because yeah, he's he obviously he one of my nice. favorite shows. He's cute. So. He's if you told 11-year-old Sophia that you were going to meet him when you're 38, oh. Oh. she would not believe you. Yeah, that's so because sweet. Yes, he was very lovely. He's the only 9 to 1 person I got a picture with. That's sweet. But yes, lovely guy. Oh, he seems nice. Yes. And then Sophia. Got and still one. handsome after all these years. Yeah, there you go. Oh, then, yes, then he's like, well, we need individuals. So we're like, oh, okay. Sweet. Yes. Okay, so we did individuals, too. I was like, Hooray! Hey, oh. oh, and then, video. sorry, we did video. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's cute. Which we're like, ah, oh, damn. I don't know. Anyways, that's cute. So then we were able, the volunteer was very nice. She let us get it to the very end of the Mario Lopez line, even though he was not there. Um, yes, because some volunteers didn't let us go in the lines. Oh, they kind of the like once they kinda, they're like, it's off, whatever. So she's like, oh, just sneak in there and he'll come. They're coming back, I swear. And we're like, this con is almost over. It was like five something and it was close oh, to six. day two. Yeah. Yeah. So we're like, okay. So then we did. And luckily we were able. Oh, did I not take pictures of that? Okay. Apparently I don't have pictures of us with Mario Lopez. Um, uh, check my Instagram. I have it there. Sophia's Instagram on day two. And who are we looking for again? Is it with the Steve one? Mario Lopez. Day you're pressing. Two. I think you're at the wrong buttons because, like, on the oh. picture, there's like buttons. Sorry, one hold second. On, hold on. I am not a good Instagram yeah, yeah, that person. Yeah, that, that button. Yeah. You know, one of these days, guys, one of these days, I'll learn how all these things work. There you that's go. okay. Anyways, that's okay. Here's you got it in week. the end. Mario Lopez. Handsome man. He does also hosting too, doesn't he? Yes. Yeah. Uh, ET Canada or something. No, not ET Canada. Uh, Access Hollywood. Access so Hollywood. That's yes. what it is. So, yeah, yeah. So he's. Yes. It's, it's so JC we were Slater. able to get him. That was pretty much. Is it AC or JC Slater? AC, AC, Slater. AC Slater. That's right, right. And how was he? Was he like a nice guy? Yeah, he seemed nice. Yeah. At the end of the day, we were like one of the last ones in line. So. Oh, wow. It was definitely past six o'clock. Wow. Yeah. So then at this point, Sophia and I are like, all right, let's go. Cause we had left our bags at the hotel, but we were switching hotels. Oh, why? So we like, um, because I originally booked the Thursday, Friday, cause we weren't sure what was happening for Saturday yet. Um, and then when I went to go book for Saturday, I do the hot wire secret hotels. Yeah. Um, and that hotel was that we were at was sold out. Ah. So I went back. Thankfully, they let us keep our like. I we brought. I gave most of my luggage to Josh and them, but then. Mm -hmm. um, so I had a couple of bags in my sleep apnea machine, and Sophia had her bag. So then we went there. We picked it up. Got in a little uh, cab, um, a lift, made it to our other hotel. Which, by the way, mm -hmm. um, according to the secret hotel thing, it was the Econo Lodge, uh -huh. but it was not the Econo Lodge. It was oh. the Economy Inn. Oh, so we're like, okay, cool. So then we ended up going there and then, um, there was a check-in and we're waiting to check in with this guy. And then this couple comes in and the lady starts yelling at the guy, like, why aren't you helping us? And I'm like, but he was do you not see up. customers here? Yeah, customers customers are here. And then her boyfriend was like, stop embarrassing me. Blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, and then, oh, and then after we leave, we're like, did they not see us? Like we're customers too. Like what the like, hell? It was like uh, incredibly the Hilton awkward. guys. It wow. was very weird. And it was one of those motels that are like outdoors, which again, I don't really care where we stay, but like no. it's Diane and Josh would never stay at one of these places. I don't like the And meeting. there was a car right in front of our door. Ah, I mean, go ah. in, and it was like so fucking cold. Uh -huh. like you could see breath practically. Uh -huh. And then we realized the heater wasn't on. Uh -huh. And, then, it was and then on the back and the back of it, um, it looked like a jail cell door. And then when I oh. when I tried to close the door, I unlocked it. But I was like, I thought I'm closing oh. the door. Like it was oh. very weird. Oh, yeah, boy. it was. Uh, it was certainly a something. Oh, boy. So then we determined let's go, let's go to the after party dance thing. So we took another lift over there, and then Sophia. Uh, oh, I was. I just took off my wristband. I was wearing it all week. Uh, so then we went, and the um, the official DJ of the Power Rangers was there. They it's a big age. deal. I didn't it's know they had a one, but that's a big deal. Was there. So it was actually pretty good, but at this point we we're tired and we were also really hungry. 
Uh-huh. So we're like, okay, let's go like get something. Uh-huh. So we drank lots course. of water because Thank they had water good. in the corner. Yeah. Well yes. done. So we're like free water. Excellent. And then we're Excellent. just like, okay, we're t- we got, we won some slap bracelets we oh, were throwing into the crowd. Sophia was able to grab a couple. I got, yeah, us. I got one. And then one like ricocheted off this girl's back. And I was like, okay, that's mine as well now. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so they were cute. They were like, they had made like their own nineties con slap bracelets. Um, Did you so, know that those are made out of uh, retractable some, measuring? Some of the Marius. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then fun. we tried to find some other places, and they were all, cl- and it was like now 10 o'clock, and they were all closed. Uh, so there was this like Apple Cinemas across the street, which was like kind of like a private movie theater, but then they also had like a bar and like food. Any apples? No. Uh, so we ended up going, we're like, do you guys have food? They're like, well, our fryers are still on. You can have some fried stuff. So we ended up getting like mozzarella sticks. Chicken fingers. Ch- and then so few oh, chicken again. fingers again oh, and God then bless you. I, can't, I think i got buffalo cauliflower um so to like, be got, fair there wasn't much else that was there was literally to get. nothing else okay. so we're All just right. like okay cool so as we're chatting the bartender guy i guess it had been a long day because then he just started talking about many things including him like off-roading on his bike and things like that and then i was like oh okay mm-hmm. yeah, i was just yeah, like i just okay. want to leave and then like the and then they were like and then the staff were talking amongst themselves about i guess there was a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament there at one at point the, at the no center? at at the convention center there was a Yu-Gi-Oh oh, convention oh no i see you've activated my trap card yes. so then they all yeah. came to eat yeah. at this restaurant the uh, one day uh, and then um neck beards um yeah decided... I, I was gonna say like they're like otaku weebs yeah uh, i know yeah, they are. so they were like oh and i guess they decided to have like a competition against them uh, over who <laughs> could pay the most tip oh good so Yay. it was like an, it was in their favor so they're like oh, oh i'm paying 20 percent. Oh, i'm paying 25 percent tip oh, wow. oh well i'm doing this and then this one guy stood up and he was like oh, i'm paying 500 percent tip on top of his oh. thing so he was just like oh like to show them oh. all so he because he was like the last guy to pay oh, okay. so obviously i people, guess he's rich right oh, i don't know so he was just like flexing so then oh. as the guy's like processing his 500 percent tip they hear rustling noises and the rest of them are just like taking like cash out of their wallet to like make it i was just like fuck oh. i wish i was a fucking server oh, that's right they were like, talking that's, about this. that's not that's that's very unusual like most people cheap. nerds do not have money Okay, mm. so that's, I guess, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a totally different ballgame. So anyways, they were just like, ah, but so they were just chatting about this one day when this occurred and how much money he made. He's like, that was a very good day, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it would be very So anyways, good. I'm like falling asleep. Sophia's just like, yes, yes, to this guy who keeps talking about dirt. Well, I guess, was he like, you should tip like they did. No, so anyway, okay, so then no. I like give the credit card and I was like, thank you, whatever. So then he goes to do something and I hear him talk to the manager and he's like, it's 1120. They're like, yeah, that's fine. So then he's like, okay, here you go. And I was like, do I, do I need to sign anything or like where do I can put the tip? And he's like, oh, he's like, oh no, I covered you guys. You're good. I had a good day today. So then I was like, yeah, I was like, so what happened? It was like, the bill was like 30 some odd bucks. And I was uh-huh. like, oh, okay. And then I was very tired and half asleep. And all I had in my wallet was a $20 cash. Uh-huh. So then I, so then I just whipped it out. And I go, I'm sorry. I'm no Yu-Gi-Oh player, but here you go. Thank you. <laughs> So I came, okay. it was good it was good it was yeah, they yeah. all laughed it was great that's and i was adorable. just like i felt bad but i'm like that's the only cash i had and he wasn't and i'm like i don't want to be like okay thanks bye and not give him anything yeah so yeah, yeah. Just yeah, like, yeah that's nice you know what whatever it that's is what sweet. it is so. god bless but then they were just like oh you go i'm like you literally were just talking about this for 10 minutes so they're just like you're so funny i'm like yes i am so we're like we'll see you next year Aww, yeah, so then sweet. yeah so that was that day so there you go um do you want day three to be a separate day? Yes, because we're already at 51 minutes and uh, we also need to cover the, the Play-Doh as well. Okay. So it's not going to be enough time. So but- yes, welcome to 90s Con Month. We will continue on. <laughs> I love you and Wag Dash. We will be back to boy bands soon. And there is boy bands in There's the There's boy, so boy band go. and boy band adjacent. So I feel there like, go. And, and honestly, a lot of people can't attend these cons and, uh, and like, I'm, I'm gonna say from like from the action that we see on our youtube channel a lot of people did appreciate your coverage so oh, really yeah it's right. a it's a good thing so i feel like they're adjacent so it doesn't okay so tune in next week for the finale of 90s con Woo. Do, do, do. Duper, so, duper finale super duper finale for real this time all right with so, a bang yes so thanks for taking a break with us oh shit is that the line yes that is. <gasps> say it thanks again for taking a break with us guys guys one more time. Uh, thanks for taking a break with us, guys. 
Until next time. Thanks for listening.